Well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to 360 Alaskan Life. Now it's uh, quickly becoming fall here in Alaska. The weather's changing, and tonight we've got a bunch of snow scheduled. So tonight it's supposed to snow, and I need to get my camper winterized. Make sure you get all the water out of it and get it tucked away for winter. So I have a Keystone Cougar 2015. This camper is 33 feet long. Part of the half ton series by Cougar. So we're gonna go ahead and drain down the, uh, the main tank on this unit and I'll just drop it right on the ground here. It's just, uh, just some fresh water. So right under the front side of the camper, you can see one of the, the drain down points. And this comes right off the tank. I'll let you drain the whole tank. So you just pull the cap right off and it starts draining. <clears throat> Okay, so you can see uh, where this first water point is here from the water tank. Now let's go around to the, the other drain down points. Okay, so here right next to the door, you come right under there is the other drain down point. Okay, so we got all the water draining out of the camper. That'll take a few minutes before uh, next step. Now, while we're waiting for the trailer, the water tanks to drain down and everything, we're gonna go ahead and get ready to purge out the, uh, the pipe system here of any leftover water. So I use a, just a small fitting right here. It's just a hose bib connected to an air chuck. And we connect this right to the city water connection, hook an air compressor up to it and blow uh, air through all the lines until they come up uh, dry. So let's show you that process right now. Okay, now the air compressor is fully charged. I'm gonna go ahead and start blowing it down. Let's go ahead and get the drain caps back off while they're under pressure. Be some uh, water in there still, I'm sure, just a little bit. Okay, so now the we got some air running through the system with the the air compressor. Need to make sure to purge out all the lines of water. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, close back off the drain lines underneath here. Put the caps back on, and then we need to go around to each faucet. Open it up one at a time to get the water out of them. I think these ones, uh... yeah, I need to close this. So make sure you have everything closed, all your valves, all your faucets, and then purge them one at a time. So I've got all the other faucets off right now, all the other drains closed. Let's see what's coming out of this one. I'm gonna go ahead and shut this one for a minute. We'll come back into one of the other ones. In this case, the bathroom sink, we'll go ahead and bleed it out. Basically, you're looking for the, when the water vapor, water stops coming out, stops gurgling out, then you know you've, uh, you've got everything out of the system. 
So I don't put any glycol at all in my water tank. I've never needed to. I just flush it with air. Make sure you get your shower head too. You see the water that just came out of there? And then you can also disconnect your shower head down below. And this will let any of the remaining water out of it. Now when you get done purging out all the, the water lines with uh, the air compressor, then go ahead and make sure you leave uh, all the drain points open, all the faucets and uh, sinks open, uh, the tub drains open. This will allow any water that we miss with the air compressor to drain out of the system before you get a freeze up. Or in my case, uh, we got a little snow already, so I gotta hurry up. Okay, we'll go ahead and disconnect the air hose here. Take our fitting off, we'll save that fitting for next year. You see, this is just uh, one day later. Yesterday I was working on winterizing this and hadn't finished and uh, look what happened. I about got snowed out. If you don't like the weather in Alaska, just wait five minutes, it'll change. Now, as part of your uh, winterization process, make sure you dump your, uh, your black and your gray water holding tanks. I'm not gonna show that in this video, but I'm gonna show you on this model. We have the valves right here, the black and the gray. So you see here's our drain down point. There's the black valve and then the gray water valve. This uh, particular model also has a galley gray water tank. So you gotta come here in front of these uh, double wheels here. If you look right here, here is the valve for that front galley tank. So there's three tanks total, two uh, gray water tanks and one black water tank. So make sure you get that properly drained down into a proper sewage system as part of your winterization process because you don't want those tanks to freeze up. Okay, after you finish blowing out all the piping and getting all the water out of it, we want to winterize all the traps. And so the easiest way to do that is just take a little RV antifreeze and just pour it right down each sink, each area where there's a trap, every place there's a drain. So we're gonna do the same thing back here in the bathroom. Just, just a little bit, you know, it's, it doesn't take a whole lot. It's just to winterize the traps underneath there because those are always full of water. And then I always put a little bit in the toilet too. It just helps keep the seals on the toilet good. Okay, after you're all done uh, draining down the, the water system, making sure your tank's drained, uh, making sure you've checked your pump, making sure there's no water left in it, now it's uh, time to winterize uh, the remaining systems. So for the propane, we just want to make sure it's off for the winter. Check both those. Yeah, they're both tighten off. And then next I got to pull out the deep cycle batteries. There's two uh, 12 volt deep cycle batteries right here. So I'll pull them out and put them on a trickle charger. both the cables from the batteries here now this is my winterization process too for my camper yours might be different you might have a completely different winterization process for your camper so if you do post it in the comments I'd love to hear about it everybody does things different ways okay let's go ahead and get the batteries out of them We have Evan carry the batteries to our uh, other place here so we can get them on the charger. Okay, the water is flushed. We've got uh, the drains all primed with glycol. Propane shut off, batteries are out. All that's left is to uh, pull it out and park it in its hole for the winter. Straight back, go that way. Straight back. 
Straight back. Stop! Okay. So we got the camper parked back in its spot for the winter and uh, all we got to do is now get it covered up with a tarp but we're going to take care of that here in a couple days because the snow is supposed to thaw out again before we get a real dumping of snow. So thanks for watching, thanks for joining us on this video on how to winterize your uh, your travel trailer. Uh, like I said, if you got a different way you winterize yours, put it in the comments, I'd like to hear about it. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Here, here comes Evan, already going to take a look at some of the snow I'm sure, a little early yet. But he's excited for it. All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a good one. Let's work. Yo, it's go time, show time. Never back in downtime. One shot, yo. Make it count, yo. Crunch time, shine time. Make this moment my time. Get a grip, yo. Ready, set, go.